Defense Updates has reached more than 150,000 subscribers. We're genuinely thankful to our viewers. You keep us going. Follow us on social media. Support us on Patreon. All links in description below. Their Army's equipment and strategy was outmoded. Their Air Force's bombs and missiles were more dumb than smart. Their Navy was more rust than ready. For decades, this was Western military leaders' view of their Russian counterparts. What they've seen in Syria and Ukraine has come as a shock. Russian military jets have, at times, carried out more sorties in a day in Syria than the US-led coalition has done in a month. The Russian Navy has launched ballistic missiles from the Caspian Sea 900 miles away and kept supply lines going to Syria. The air defenses installed by the Russians in Syria and eastern Ukraine would make it extremely hazardous for the West to carry out strikes against the Assad regime or Ukrainian separatists. Lieutenant General Ben Hodges, the commander of the US Army in Europe, has described Russian advances in electronic warfare in Syria and Ukraine, a field in which they were typically supposed to be backward, as eye-watering. Russia's ongoing campaign in Syria wouldn't have been such a game-changer without the deployment of some of the country's most sophisticated weapons. In this video, Defense Updates list top 5 Russian weapons that's made a combat debut in Syria. Let's get started. Number 5 The Sukhoi Su-34 strike fighter adopted by the Russian Aerospace Forces in 2015 has been deployed against the radical Islamists in Syria from the beginning of Russia's anti-Daesh campaign there. In 2016, the Russian aircraft contingent deployed at Hamaimim Air Base was further bolstered by four Sukhoi Su-35S super-maneuverable multi-role fighters. The addition of the Su-35 provides Russia with more powerful fighter escorts for its fleet of Su-24 Fencer and Su-25 Forefoot strike aircraft that are operating from the Kamaiman Air Base, which is located in Syria's northwestern Latakia province. Those aircraft have minimal air-to-air self-defense capability and were reliant on the Sukhoi Su-30SM and Su-27SM-3 flankers for protection. Defined as a Generation 4 Plus fighter, the Su-35S is capable of flying at a speed of up to 2,400 kilometers per hour and ascending to a height of 20,000 meters. The plane's maximum range stands at 3,600 kilometers, and with an additional fuel tank, the figure can be increased by 900 kilometers. The nozzles of its Saturn AL-41 F1S turbofans can independently point in different directions in flight to assist the aircraft in rolling and yawing, enabling super maneuverability that makes Su-35 an excellent dogfighter. The fighter also has sophisticated Irbis radar, which allows the plane to detect targets at distances of up to 400 kilometers, as well as track aerial targets and engage up to eight of these targets simultaneously. Number four. When we think of cruise missile attacks launched from a warship, the first thing that comes to mind is American Tomahawk missiles. US Navy had maintained the distinction of being the only Navy to launch long-range cruise missiles from surface ships at land targets in combat, but that changed in 2015. Russian Navy became the new entry into the very short list by using the caliber in Syria. On the 7th of October 2015, the world became suddenly aware that Russia possesses sophisticated long-range cruise missiles. Russian warships successfully obliterated a number of Daesh targets by launching caliber NK missiles from hundreds of miles away. While many of this new cruise missile's parameters still remain classified, apparently it can hit assets on the ground from a distance of up to 2,600 kilometers. It has a 450 kilogram high explosive warhead and a turbofan engine. Similar to Tomahawk, it has a speed of Mach 0.8. Number three. The Tupolev Tu-160 supersonic strategic bomber, known as the White Swan in Russia and as Blackjack abroad, is usually considered a deterrent, a nuclear weapon delivery system capable of crossing a distance of up to 14,000 kilometers without refueling. In Syria, however, these bombers wiped out numerous Daesh targets using conventional ordnance with the KH-101 air-launched cruise missiles. 
The missile might have a range as great as 3,100 miles as per some Western estimates. However, Russian media indicates that the weapon has far greater capabilities. In 2012, the Russian newspaper Izvestia reported that the conventional variant of the missile would have a circular probability of error of less than 30 feet at ranges of up to 6,000 miles. The missile's warhead packs 880 pounds of explosives. Number 2 Turkey had shot down a Russian Su-24 fencer that had crossed the Turkish border for about 18 seconds. Following that incident, Moscow deployed the S-400 air defense system to Syria. S-400 is considered to be one of the most lethal air defense systems in the world. S-400 can detect and engage anything that is in air. Strategic bombers such as B-1B and B-52. Electronic warfare airplanes such as the E-3A and E-2C. Reconnaissance airplanes such as the TR-1. Early warning radar planes such as the E-3A and E-2C. Fighter airplanes such as the F-15 and F-16. Stealth airplanes such as the B-2, F-35 and F-22. Strategic cruise missiles such as the Tomahawk. And medium and intermediate ballistic missiles. S-400 possesses different radar for different bands and has a range of 400 kilometers. It is equipped with four different missiles to fill its performance envelope. Just one S-400 system can control up to 72 launchers with a maximum of 384 missiles. It can simultaneously engage up to 80 targets. Number 1 Now more than 15 years after the F-22 entered service, Russia is pitting the best its military aviation industry can offer against its rival in Syria. Su-57 is fifth-generation, stealthy, single-seat, twin-engine jet multi-role fighter aircraft designed for air superiority and ground attack operations. It is the first operational aircraft in Russian Air Force service to use stealth technology. Similar to F-22, the airframe incorporates planform edge alignment to reduce its radar cross-section RCS. The leading and trailing edges of the wings and control surfaces and the serrated edges of skin panels are carefully angled to reduce the number of directions the radar waves can be reflected. Also, radar absorbent material has been used to reduce its radar return which makes it difficult to detect. The Su-57 is designed to have extreme maneuverability in both supersonic and subsonic speeds and is the first fighter jet to utilize 3D thrust vectoring. The NO-36 Belka radar system provides Su-57 with 360-degree coverage with a main nose-mounted X-band AESA radar, two smaller X-band AESA radars mounted on the sides of the forward fuselage and two L-band arrays on the wing's leading edge extensions. The radar station of the Su-57 is speculated to have the ability to detect stealth aircraft and track over 10 targets simultaneously. The Su-57 also houses an infrared search and track sensor to detect enemy aircrafts with their IR signature. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.